going to be just a quick prediction for the Lomachenko Jason Sosa fight tonight. So, uh, all right. Loma versus Sosa tonight, 130 pounds, super featherweight. Loma will be defending the WBO super featherweight title. And, uh, but I heard that Sosa couldn't make weight. Missed it, stripped down, uh, had to lose four ounces, lost two. So I'm not sure if he made weight or the WBO will be ranked, you know, or will not ranked, but will be on the line tonight. So we'll see. But regardless, there's no chance of Sosa winning this fight. So it really doesn't matter. I mean, that's why I'm, you know, I'm just going to make a quick little prediction video and kind of fill you guys in on what's going on and what's going to happen after the Loma Sosa fight. So, uh, Sosa, he's ranked number 10, Loma number one, of course. And you, you always, I don't know, USK or USYK. I can never pronounce his name. Uh, he's on the undercard, uh, Loma five six, Sosa five five. I think Sosa has like the sixty seven inch reach. Loma sixty five. So he's got a little bit of a reach advantage on him. Jason Sosa only has one loss back in twenty ten. Um, you know, early on in his career. Remember, Sosa got the draw with Nicholas Walters, but I clearly had Walters winning that fight. I mean, I don't know. I don't think. I mean, we all know Walters. He, he didn't look very impressive in the Loma fight, but in that particular fight, I had it a draw. So, you know, I don't think that. Uh, it was just bad judging. There's so much bad judging going on in boxing. But look, Loma is a master at using his angles, pivoting out, you know, pivoting out, circling out, connecting his shots, timing, footwork, head movement, you know, creative punching. In my opinion, you know, he's a boxing phenomenon. He really is. And he makes it look easy. But the problem is no one can imitate what he does. It's not easy once you get in there. Uh, you know, the only chance for Sosa, the only chance that he has in, in my book is to take a page out of Salito's playbook, right? If he can kind of do what Salito did, get on the inside, rough him up, he might have a chance of doing something, you know, making something happen. But but I, I, I don't know. We'll see. You know, we'll see. I think it's pretty much going to look like an exhibition match. But like most fights, it, like I said, it's just a showcase. Show, showcase the skills. And to be honest, that's the problem I have with Loma. Every fight is more like an exhibition bis, exhibition match and a boxing clinic instead of a competitive back and forth, you know, fight. It's always just like this one-sided thing. But during, like I said, during the weigh-in, Loma 129.6, Sosa 130.4. You know, he lost two ounces, and I don't know if he lost the other two. I'm not quite sure. So, uh, but we'll see. Because if he didn't, then the WBO will not be on the line. Now, now the the, the big news, I think, to take away from the fight is uh, Loma said if he wins, you know, he's seriously considering moving up to to, uh, to lightweight. So, and I think that'll hope, uh, open a whole new, you know, world of opportunities for him. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, but, you know... My prediction, I got Loma by knockout. I don't think it'll go 12 rounds. I mean, I know, you know, Jason Sosa, he's a tough guy. He's going to get on the inside, try to make it messy, try to make it ugly. Uh, but I think that's where Loma, you know, he he's great at pivoting out, turning out. You know, he's going to use that uppercut, use the hooks, and just catch him and eventually knock him out. Or, you know, maybe the fight will get stopped by the referee. And then really, the real question on everyone's mind tonight is where does Loma go from here? Because, I mean, he's making these fights look easy. I mean, look at the Martinez fight. He made it look easy. You know, look at the Nicholas Walters fight. Made it look easy. So, you know, we all want to see, you know, what happens next and, you know, just get them in a competitive fight. And then I know a lot of people talk about they want a Salido rematch. Well, I mean, I guess it'd be okay. But, you know, I don't know. I... I just think that whole thing was a bad deal. A bad deal. I don't want to get into it too much right now, but, but yeah, that's my prediction. Um, you know, I got Loma winning, winning by knockout, TKO. Um, I don't know, man. Probably, probably, you know, in the in the later rounds. Because I mean, I know, I know Jay, I know Sosa. He's a tough kid, and you know, I think he will survive the earlier rounds. Maybe, maybe not. You know, you never know, but. Uh, you know, we'll see. But I think Jay, I'm pretty sure so. So he's going to show a lot of heart, and it's going to be a good fight. You know, just just for that reason alone. You know, you have this highly technical guy against a guy that you know. God, if he could beat Loma, could you imagine? He would be on top of the world. You know, so it's a huge opportunity. And this is really, I was talking to a guy earlier, and I told him, you know, fights like this. This is where, you know, it's kind of the high risk, low reward. This is these are dangerous. Okay, these are dangerous. So. Uh, but really, I mean, right now, like I said, I want to see Loma move up and, you know, pretty much, you know, fight any top 10 after he moves up to lightweight. So we'll see what, what happens. But uh, yeah, and let me real quick, I, I want to share something else with you guys. Let me go to my group. Uh, 
you'll probably want to see this. Let me get to it over here. Hang on a minute. It's just uh, you know a few highlight highlighted uh, stories today. Okay, let's see. Counterpunch, counterpunch. And by the way, counterpunch boxing on Facebook right here. Boom. Boom. Check us out. Okay. First off, happy birthday to Gennady Golovkin. Um, he is 35 years old now, man. He's he's moving up. So here, let me get to my uh, pictures. Oh, there's Chavez. What the hell is that? Yeah, he's 35 years old today. And in the Liam Smith, you know, we got the two Liams uh, fighting also. Liam Smith missed weight. So here we go. Let me just show you a few pictures real quick. So Gennady Golovkin turning 35. My phone is really lagging. Uh, and Liam Smith, you know, uh, he said, we were told we only had an hour. Then we were told we should have had two hours, which then we were annoyed. Well, he's talking about, you know, to take off the weight that he missed. But then, of course, everyone's like, well, yeah, you had two months. I mean, I never understood guys that can't make weight in their own division. Chris Eubanks flying out to L.A. tomorrow to train at a wild card boxing gym, home of Manny Pacquiao. You know, why Freddie Roach is letting that dude in his gym, I don't know. And then, of course, here we go, fight night. You know, we got we got the Loma Sosa and, and then all the fights over there in the U.K., which, I, you know, I put, actually I put a quick video out just talking about these uh, – these matchups over there so it's going to be some good fights on tonight so but we're all looking forward to the Canelo Chavez May 6th that's the big one everyone's looking forward to and then of course the uh Kovalev and Andre Ward rematch that I mean I'm really looking forward to that that's probably my most anticipated fight right here I said who do you have winning tonight Loma or Sosa so I just put this up you know you got six, 18 people uh, that's already picked Loma. Not well. You got one person that picked Sosa, so you know we'll see. But uh, yeah, the two Liams right there. Like I said, Liam did not make weight. Loma. I'm gonna see if I got anything else real quick here. Yeah, there's a video I just put out. Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev. So let's see what we got. Oh, you know what? Hey, actually, yeah, if you guys want to come over to the group, check this out. Just a quick little documentary on Chavez, so, you know, come over and check it out. But anyway, guys, Counterpunch Boxing on Facebook. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to hit 1,000 subs so we can get this channel rolling, so I would appreciate uh, if you guys can sub to the channel. And, uh, yeah, tonight we'll probably have the the uh, Loma fight live in the group. We usually share a link to the group. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can we can get that going for you tonight. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Uh, stay safe out there.